Hey man, this is Mike Salen with Cape Fear Men. Here we are on August the 1st. In just a few weeks, many of you will be kicking off your men's ministries uh, to uh, in your local churches to reach the men of your church and your community. Some of you will be doing various activities. Some of you will be doing studies. Some of you will be doing both, and I hope you will be. But uh, one of the things, I, I want to give you three things that I want you to think about as you begin to work through this month in preparation for the coming year of ministering to your men. Number one, I want you to get to know your men. I want to know. I want you to know who they are. Sometimes we think we do know our men, and many times, and oftentimes we don't. So the way you got to know your men is you've got to do surveys. You've got to, to ask them questions to, to find out what they're interested in, what is driving them, what makes them tick, what are their struggles, what kind of what kind of studies would they, would they like to see to help them in their studies. You may be surprised at some of the things you may find out if you do those kinds of surveys. Number two is I want you to create multiple entry points for you guys. Uh, the larger your church, more entry points you need. Not all your guys have a particular interest in one thing. Uh, leaders, you need to be careful that you do not plan events just around things, uh, activities that you enjoy doing. You need to know your men so you know what you can plan as far as multiple entry points. Some of those entry points could be studies of certain particular areas of struggles in a men's life. Some of those things could be uh, uh, activities such as a golf outing or a, uh, a, a NASCAR watch, watch party or, or maybe uh, even a wild game night. But you need to know your men. You need to understand what interests them and what, to, and what makes them tick. So you can create those multiple entry points as you get to know your men. And then number three, and this is the most important thing, I believe, is you've got to be intentional with your men. You've got to, to tap them on the shoulder and encourage them and come alongside of them and invite them to these uh, activities or studies that you may be planning. Ask a guy to come with you. Tap him on the shoulder. Say, hey, I'm going to this. I want you to come with me. Go by and pick him up. Even pay his way, maybe. But be intentional and start developing those relationships. And I believe if you put these three philosophy points in, in place in your men's ministry, number one is get to know your men, understand who they are, what makes them tick, what are their interests, what are their struggles. Number two, create multiple entry points for those guys that deal in those various areas that they're, they're dealing with. And then number three, be intentional. Be intentional with them. I think you'll see a great, greater return on, on your men's ministry as you work through them and, and begin to serve God and disciple them in. So guys, hope you have a great year. Be listening for future uh, videos for me. And uh, let's, uh, let's disciple every man uh, for God, okay? God bless, and we'll talk to you later.